Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another sorting video, and I decided to talk over this one so it's a little less boring. Although the last video I think warranted no talking because the sound effects are cool. So this is another set that I picked up through an online classified listing, and of course it was listed under a Rector set. Um, but I knew there'd be McConnell parts in it. So I actually drove over an hour away to get this. Here's an AC Gilbert Erector Set motor. I'll be doing a video on that later. Uh, these parts are always mixed with AC Gilbert. So this video is mostly just going to be me taking the Meccano out. And I'll deal with the Erector Set later. Um, funny story on this fan that I'll tell you guys about later on in the video. So anytime I pick up a used set here, um, I always have to type in a Rector set. Nobody lists it under Meccano where I live because uh, growing up, we always called it a Rector set. And if you've ever seen that movie, The Sandlot, maybe that's part of what um, popularized that that name but here in the states we know Meccano as Erector set um, anyhow I started getting into Erector in my early 20s and I've since accumulated a ton of just secondhand um, boxes or sets and I usually have better luck when I type in Erector set uh, at least where I live and so uh, I, I really didn't want to pass on this uh, set Here's a perfect example of AC Gilbert quality versus McConnell quality. And as you're watching this video, you'll see the AC Gilbert pieces are pretty well bent and, and looking pretty rough. But the McConnell looks pretty well pristine. So I actually drove over an hour away um, to a few towns over to pick this up where I live because on the pictures listed online I could see all the Meccano and it looked to be the older some of the older stuff maybe 60s 70s French sets and I was like heck yeah like I'll buy that all day so I had to buy the Erector set in order to get the Meccano um, obviously I'd rather have the Meccano parts for what I'm going to be building um, but I'll stick the Erector in my closet and I mean, I'm sure I'll build something out of it, but um, the ma the main goal here is to just get the Meccano out of this box, set the Erector aside, and, and just work on my Meccano models. Some grub screws, some washers. These are all AC Gilbert screws. And right now I do have a drawer for them, as you can see, but I'm trying my best to separate all the Erector from the Meccano. And uh, so if you see a few things out of place, don't worry, it's probably gonna be moved later. Here's some original Meccano screws. The flatheads. We'll put those in a special bin. And these pieces are interesting. They're AC Gilbert, but I think they could come in handy on a Meccano project for sure. Spring. This is always the most tedious part getting the little pieces separated. A necessary evil if you want to have a good Meccano set. I think when I originally started sorting these parts I was going to sort the Erector but there was just way too many pieces and I already have enough Meccano as it is so again the main objective was get the Meccano out put the Erector away for later on you can see I got a pretty good haul of um, girders here and I kinda had a hard time differentiating some of them believe it or not um, there's these girders with 
long holes on both sides. I'm pretty sure they're AC Gilbert. All of these pieces fit pretty well and they're pretty interchangeable. But again, I'd like to have two separate collections. You can see I had a hard time discerning a few of them, but I think I got it figured out in the end. Taking apart stuff always sucks, but another necessary evil if you want to have a good set. And look at this, I got some original Meccano screws, the flathead screws, so I'm pretty sure a lot of these Meccano are from the 60s, 70s French sets. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here's your AC Gilbert electric motor. You guys will be seeing me do a restoration of this in a later video. You can see it's pretty dusty and it's had some tape on it. So that'll be a later video. You can see someone put tape on here. No biggie. You could always refinish them or uh, just use them as a part that might get a lot of friction. Alright, that's enough AC Gilbert for one day, I think. So let's get into these Meccano parts. YouTube thumbnail right here. Pretty good little collection of girders. Really hard to find in the United States. At least harder to find than the AC Gilbert. But again, if you type in Erector Set, you're bound to get a few McConnell parts out of there. It's just what we know them as, Erector Set. Um, when I tell my friends about my YouTube channel, they, they say, McConnell, what's that? And I have to tell them, oh, it's an Erector Set channel. Testing one, two. Here's some window parts. Looks like I got quite a few from this set. These parts are even harder for me to find, the curved ones. I probably got less than 50 total of all sizes. Now I've got about four or five of those which will be cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. And you see a lot of AC Gilbert in my drawers still. Um, that's mostly been moved at this point in time. You can see I'm running out of space. Um, I've since moved all AC Gilbert out of the drawers and out of the cabinets and into their respective bins. This whole table now is all Meccano. I had a tough time fitting these parts in, as you can tell. So I got a cool story to tell you guys about this uh, creation here. It's actually a fan. And the gentleman I bought this set from, like I said, he was very kind. And we were talking erector set stories. And he said back in the day, him and his sister were so hot 
down in Arizona where they lived that they try to make themselves a fan to cool themselves down. And uh, I thought it was really neat to get a story along with the Erector set. I mean, that's really what makes it, right, is hearing about their dad used to build Erector set with them and this and that. And here you have a surviving relic um, from back when they were kids, I think, back in the 70s. Um, beautiful creation. But another necessary evil is uh, taking them apart so you can reuse their pieces again. And uh, you'd never even know that was a fan now. So uh, into the collection that goes. Maybe as a tribute uh, to pay homage to that build, I'll make a fan or something someday. That does it for the larger parts. That always goes pretty quick. It's these little tiny parts that are so tedious. But I like to know what I have. I'm very visual and so the idea behind these sorting videos is to get the parts out on the table where I can make a mental map sort of of what I have um, when I sit down to design something, I'm going off patterns and shapes and so and colors. And so I'll set parts down, spread them out, and I'll start to see what, maybe what I'm going to build. And so half of the reason for, for doing these sortings is to see what I have. And how could I build anything if they're all just conglomerated into one giant mess? Some C clips from the 70s. Junk. You'll find junk in pretty much any erector set you come across second hand. You'll find other miscellaneous nuts and bolts, um, pretzel crumbs, gears from sewing machines. Um, typically, I keep that stuff unless it's just garbage. Like, I think I ended up throwing away the all of these just because, like, come on. I'm not going to use that. Um, overall a pretty good find there wasn't um, any junk or anything like that very few broken parts um, it stayed true to what I said it was gonna be a bunch of erector set look at that old wrench here's an old wrench This is me trying to decide what to do with all of these different parts. Some of these parts I've never encountered before. Those are old C-clips from the 70s. Those ones are made of metal instead of plastic. There's your hook. Got plenty of those. There's your original vintage Meccano screws. That's as many as I have, guys. All my other ones are modern hex head, which I'm fine with. They're much easier to work with. There's a bushing. I believe that's an AC Gilbert bushing. I believe all of those are. Just a few gears and things left. Uh, the spring always comes in handy. So the plan is to start building a ton of models, you guys. I'm just going to start doing a ton of original creations. And I may have to move my videos to once a month. Uh, they take a while to produce. And so the, the end goal here is to start utilizing all these pieces and just making some cool models. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to focus on. Um, feel free to leave comments about any models you'd like to see or any ideas you have for the channel um, again this is me just kind of squaring all my parts away and sort of sort of getting ready to build stuff so hope you guys enjoy what's to come
that's it guys another yard sale find i hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure to stick around for my future videos a lot of cool models to come we're going to be working on chainsaws i've got a meccano destructo derby school bus that i'm working on just trying to work out the tires um, a lot of cool stuff to come so stay tuned you guys don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching